continuing on with this hoof 6BR because it's of such an interesting foot because it's got this query abscess appearance across there. If you've just stumbled across this video, then go back because you'll need to get a bit of an understanding as to what I'm talking about. Otherwise, I think you might find this a bit disjointed. But just to refresh your memories, this is hoof number 6BR and there was like a line, a slit that ran across there at the back of the foot. So I've already started slicing the foot and I've gone in the direction of the tubules, which is quite a different type of slice. Now it's not going to be perfect because the tubules are going to be wobbling a bit, but I've tried to get a, a good slice in, a, in the same direction as best I can as the tubules are. So this is the toe here and the heel is going to be back here. And what we're looking at is this part here, which is that black crack. Now let's just have a look at this side and see what this looks like. Now I'm calling this slice number three because this is the third face that I've looked at. I've already looked at the other faces and if you want to see those, they're on my Patreon page and I've also put some snippets on Facebook. Let's have a look at this slice number three from hoof 6BR. And let's have a look specifically at that area there where there was that query abscess. I'm going to zoom in for you because there's some quite interesting things going on in this area around here. There are lots of other things in this foot that I would love to describe to you, but for the moment, we need to just focus on this bit here. So let me just zoom in and then we can get into it. I am loving looking at this foot because once I get it under my macro lens, I'm seeing things that are just so incredibly interesting. If you look at this part here, you can see the tubules are coming down here. So the tubules are these little darkish and lightish lines through here. And they're going to originate from up here. They're created up here and this is called the coronary groove. So your coronary band is going to be a little bit higher than this. Remember we're at the back of the foot now, so we're not going to see such a big difference in the coronary band. But if we follow this down and follow these tubules, look how they're wobbling. And when they get to here, they just go off a, a, a tangent. And then we have this area here that looks to be the abscess, which would have occurred up here, remember. It wouldn't have occurred down there because this is going to be where the abscesses are going to blow through there. And that's why we're seeing this same sort of shape, a very similar C type shape to what we've got here. So this foot's growing down a few months.